Hello guys, so uh, this is uh, Daniel here from Clean Mac Exterior Power Washing in Massachusetts. And uh, as I promised, I'm going to be talking about uh, what um, happened last year uh, and what I'm going to be uh, planning for uh, this year. But uh, first, if you guys could do me a favor, just uh, like and subscribe the video. And uh, I'll appreciate it a lot. So, um, yeah, uh, for uh, this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, my review for the year of 2020, last year, uh, the ups and downs of last year. And uh, to begin with, uh, I started late, like around mid April, or almost at the end of April because of uh, family issues, some family emergency. Uh, life got in the way, so. Uh, that's what happened. Can't control fate. So I started at the uh, middle of April, almost at the end. So uh, most people start like on next month in the middle of March. Uh, right now the, the weather is very nice. So uh, some people are, are starting right now in February. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, my uh, after I started in April, everything was going good, but then like around May, almost uh, June, my uh, old truck, the white truck, started to fail. Started to have some issues, uh, and so that uh, that alone, if you don't have any truck, then obviously you're not gonna be able to go to clean the houses. So that slow me down quite a bit and then uh, I had to hunt down a new truck which is the new truck that I have the red uh, 4 f150 super sorry 4 f250 super duty and that has been working very nice for me and just switching the equipment from the old truck to the new truck it took a while and uh, in between that, or a little bit after that we have some slow months like in the month of June July or even August uh, people are taking a lot of vacations and uh, in comparison in comparison to previous years like 2021 I felt that 2022 was a little bit different in regards to the slow months because in 2021 I was I was still busy I was still cleaning houses every day maybe one day I wasn't cleaning anything but in um, last year 2022 uh, it went up to the point there that I wasn't cleaning for up to a week so that slowed me really really that was that was really bad and some people uh, were busy a lot of people weren't and i do blame it on the uh the economy the, there was a lot of uh, panic people were trying to save uh, money because of the interest rate going up the inflation or whatnot just a panic talk and just it's just what I felt, the behavior of the people, they weren't just spending as much money. And uh, in combination to all of these, I didn't hit my six figures, which was the goal for last year. But I still made money and I still, I was still profitable, of course. We got the new truck. so. And uh, the goals for this year, I already got the new machine, as you can, if you haven't seen the previous video, I got the new machine, which is uh, this one right here, the AGPN, GX390. And I'm going to be using the uh, 275 gallon uh, water tote, so the IBC tote, so I already have it. So it's just a matter of um, plumbing everything together. 
having the uh, new skid put on the truck which I am excited to start already I'm still working on some uh, little details on the truck and after I'm finished with that I'm gonna be jumping on building everything up because I am getting calls every day so and uh, I'm gonna be doubling down on marketing and advertising on primarily on Google Ads and Facebook Ads and also I'm gonna be working more on print uh, on print ads like marketing uh, flyers uh, yard signs I'm gonna be doubling that on that so uh, last year I was doing some Google I mean some Facebook ads but um, I didn't have any luck with it there were some issues with my account uh, some stupid issues from Facebook and but it seems like this year is gonna be uh, good and I think I suspect it's gonna be even better than Google Ads because I am already running campaigns both on Google and Facebook and I'm getting uh, calls from uh, Facebook and Google as well so the new trends for this year that I'm noticing and I started to notice a little bit like at the end of the season the same trend like um, sellers are uh, calling like us uh, people are there that are selling their home they're calling to uh, clean their houses before that like in 2020 and certainly 2021 uh, these guys they didn't care about uh, washing their houses the uh, people that were calling to wash their house were buyers after they bought the house, overpriced with half a roof missing, they still need, needed to clean their houses and do some fixes or, or, and whatnot. So buyers were uh, actually the one calling most of the time to do the cleaning. Right now, what I'm noticing is that sellers are the one doing that. This year, since uh, January, and even December, a lot of sellers were calling to uh, clean their homes, and because they are fixing their homes right now, they um, they are noticing there are not enough uh, buyers right now, not enough money going around. People are saving money, and the uh, banks are not uh, loaning uh, money to uh, buyers, so they had to do a little bit more prep work to do put the uh, house. More presentable before uh, putting it on the market so um, almost 90% that people are calling me is because of uh, these recent sellers they're trying to prep their house before putting it on the market and I think that's going to be very consistent throughout the year for this year uh, sellers are gonna be uh, in their homes before putting it on the market not buyers as much and of course staying on top of my google my business uh, profile and my website which is uh they're optimized already but as always they uh, always need work why not um, preferably my uh, google my business website profile i mean uh, the most important Thing that I have to do on this is just keep posting more pictures pictures and pictures and pictures that's that's what fuels your Google my business I don't know uh, a lot of people ask me why do I get uh, more uh, a lot of organic clients it's because of this it's, just, it's nothing too complicated it's just posting your before and after pictures on Google my business and for some reason people just don't, don't do it so I don't know what to tell you it's not rocket science it's just basically that and of course I have to I do have my website all set up a lot of people that visit my um, Google my business profile like more than 
I will say like 70%, they go to my website. Even after looking at the pictures, the reviews, they just go to my website and they uh, look around still, look around the services, the, uh, the services that I provide, the reviews, and then finally they go to the contact us page and they fill up a form there. They fill up the form and then I get a lead that goes directly to my inbox and then I reply from there and I get all of their information. So that's the behavior of my customer, at least for, for me. I don't know about you, but uh, I know for a fact that uh, Google My Business is, isn't just going to cut it. They uh, do visit my, uh, my website. So a website is very important to have. Okay. So, um, and uh, a website allows me to collect emails, have emails, phone numbers, all of those important information to have to advertise uh, later on in the future. And I also want to improve my CRM. It is already uh, set up, but I want to give it uh, more tweaks and automize my reviews. I just want to, uh, I'm using Marquette, or Marquette, however you pronounce it. And there's a feature that you can activate for like 10 bucks a month, I think it is, that after you send an invoice or after you're, you're done with your work, with your work, automatically when you send an invoice to the uh, customer or a receipt, they also get a link to do the reviews on either Google or Facebook, I think. And I think you can integrate some software where you can collect emails as well, so which is good. And of course, I want to uh, pass the uh, six figures mark, at least from my uh, power washing business. So uh, in regards to other businesses that I have, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, I have mentioned it on a previous video, but I do, um, I do own a little company, which is called ProNifty Media. This is my website right here, ProNifty.com. And I do web design, ads management online and marketing, just the same, and some graphic design as well. This is what I primarily do as a business owner. And I've been doing this for uh, like seven years already. So I know about this. And uh, I was the one who built my website. And I also have done uh, about, I think I did three websites for uh, this month from other power washing uh, companies. So. So if you guys are interested in uh, getting a quote for uh, your website or if you want me to take a look at your current website, you can just um, let me know and comment in the video down below. And uh, I know you guys are going to be asking where I got the, uh, the, uh, the new machine that I have. And it was from uh, Marvel Skits. And the owner is my uh, friend Lee Rumble. He's the owner of Mobile Skids and, and he also uh, does pressure washing. And he's certainly been around quite for uh, a little bit longer than I have. Now um, he opened up this company as well. And he also does uh, rigs, uh, aluminum skids. It's like this one right here, which is very, very different from uh, what you have probably seen in other uh, YouTube videos. So this is very, very uh, durable and customizable skits. 
which is what I really want and it is for the uh, budget for this year right now I'm building an, a wood skit but eventually I'm gonna upgrade to actually exactly this thing right here this is what I want and you can remove these uh, extensions here at the top so you can back up the uh, the whole truck to your garage if you have a garage which is very very nice and uh, very cool he also provides uh, all of the um, equipment if you don't have any and he also does uh, trailers so give uh, you can visit his uh, Facebook uh, page it's called exactly like that exactly like these mobile skits or you can uh, comment down below in the video and I can get you in contact uh, with him his name is Lee and uh, just tell him that I that I sent you it's gonna hook you up so um, yeah that's that's it for uh, this video I'm going to be um, working on my uh, on my setup on the truck because I want to start as soon as possible because there's a lot of people calling me already uh, and they want their jobs done ASAP because it's um, it's, it's and it's February 16 so and the weather right now it's a 56 degrees I think tomorrow is gonna be go up to the 60s it's ridiculous ridiculous New England weather <laughs> So yes, I want to be ready. I think next month is gonna be good. And uh, let's see how it goes. I'll keep I'll keep you guys posted with the new videos when I'm make building the rig. It's gonna be uh, wood, of course, and uh, everything brand new. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So uh, thank you guys uh, again. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any questions, post it down below in the comment section.